Malvern College is a co-educational boarding school set in 250 acres of outstanding natural beauty at the foot of Malvern Hills uh, in Worcestershire. We have 650 pupils spread across 11 boarding houses uh, with a very strong core curriculum that leads pupils through to A-levels or IB uh, in the sixth form. Uh, there's a super curriculum that drives academic enrichment on top of that and a massive array of co-curricular activities that, that develop wider skills, all underpinned by exceptional pastoral care. That means our pupils are happy, that they're healthy uh, and that they can thrive in all those areas. Well, for me, uh, the first one is time. Uh, our boarding school has the, the benefits of long days, no commuting, all the facilities on site and available right there so that no time is wasted having to get anywhere, which means that pupils then have more time to think, to explore, to build relationships, to try new things, to have, to have a go at all the things that we have on offer here. And most importantly, time to grow as an individual person, to find there the right pathway for them. A second point is getting that ethos right, and that boarding ethos, like Morven, has a holistic approach to education. At the core, there is that academic curriculum that helps pupils achieve the qualifications that they need to make the next step in, into university uh, or into the, their chosen career. But it's through the academic enrichment of the super curriculum that our pupils are stretched, uh, that their intellects are developed, and that the opportunities presented by the vast array of co-curricular activities means that our pupils can develop those wider, those transferable skills that determine real success in later life. Uh, and all of that, the ethos is all underpinned by a really strong pastoral care system that meets each individual's needs so that they are happy, that they're healthy, uh, and when they're happy and healthy, they, they usually succeed in whatever they're then attempting to do. A third point then is, is the people. It's all about people. Uh, the type of people who work in the schools like this, they fit into this ethos and they believe that the development of the all-round person is, is essential. They care about the individuals uh, and want to help them be happy, to be healthy and thrive. Uh, and this creates a community within which our pupils adopt this approach too. Uh, there's often modelled by their parents at home uh, and they see the value of it when they get here. So pupils are surrounded by like-minded peers who support each other uh, and with whom they can do all the things that they love, whether that's the music, the sport, the drama. Uh, and they, the hundreds of social interactions that each of our pupils has each day develops their emotional, uh, their cultural intelligence and helps them learn to, to get on with, to work with, and to lead others, preparing them to make a positive difference into the world uh, that they go out into. In terms of our boarding provision and a boarder's life at our school, um, Malvern College is a, is a full boarding school with some day pupils, but they tend to do everything uh, but actually stay the night, uh, although many also do that too. Uh, we don't offer weekly boarding, so weekends are, are busy with the vast majority of our pupils on site, uh, and that particularly works then for, for a number of international boarders too. During the week, the, the days are long, but very varied with the boarding house at the heart of each pupil's day. It, it's where they eat their meals, it's where they get changed for activities, it's where they hang out in the common rooms and they do their work, it, whether that's in study periods or whether that's uh, into the evening in prep time. In between, in the mornings and, and some afternoons uh, revolve around the academic uh, timetable with the afternoons and early evenings providing a full mixture of physical, cultural and intellectual activities to interest, to stretch and to challenge our pupils. Saturday afternoons tend to be focused on sports matches, uh, opportunities to socialise in the evenings uh, and a range of other activities fitted in between those times. Uh, Sundays tend to be a day to catch up, whether that's on sleep, on work, uh, on friendships, as well as opportunities to be active, either through house competitions, trips off campus, uh, or for free use of the school's facilities. Uh, our full boarding nature suits all of our pupils to help them develop as individuals with all of those things on site. And as I say, it fits very neatly with our international pupils too. Uh, Malvern College is extremely well located 
Great Malvern, the, the town within, within which we are situated, has a mainline station with regular trains to Birmingham an hour away uh, and London in two and a quarter hours. Uh, Birmingham International Airport is just 45 minutes away by car uh, and Heathrow Airport is just over two hours. And we're situated just off the motorway, the, the motorway, the M5, uh, which stretches between Birmingham and Bristol about halfway in between. Uh, we have a, a escorted bus service to each of the, the major airports that we serve to. In terms of our admissions process, uh, for pupils in prep schools, parents should aim to register their son or daughter with us when they're in year six, uh, but early in year seven can also normally be accommodated. Uh, there is sometimes space uh, for a late entry in year eight, but that's not uh, so reliable. Uh, for those pupils, we hold an activity day in the summer term of year six, uh, so that those pupils get a sense of what it's like to be at Malvern, but a more formal admissions day in the November of year seven, which includes group activities, discussions, uh, some academic uh, things as well. Uh, and we request a reference from the prep school around that time. And as a result of the admissions day and the reference, uh, then we will make places, uh, offer, we will give out offers conditional upon either common entrance, uh, academic scholarships, uh, prep school, uh, pre-senior baccalaureate, the PSB, uh, or college entrance examinations that we take in year eight. Uh, and in year eight as well, towards the end of the year eight, we also hold an adventure day for pupils who will be joining the college to encourage them to grow the friendships, to meet the other children that they'll be joining the school with, uh, but also to have a great time uh, stretching themselves and challenging themselves doing a number of activities. For pupils who are joining from state schools, from the senior or international schools for entry into year nine, but also into year 10, into our pre-sixth year uh, or into the lower sixth, we encourage parents to register as early as possible uh, and at latest before the October half term in the year prior to entry so that they can then sit the college entrance examinations and be interviewed in early November. Pupils wishing to enter the sixth form academic scholarships uh, in mid-November must first sit the college exam entrance examinations. Uh, and for the lower sixth, if any places remain available, we will hold another round of college entrance exams in the February prior to entry two. Interview questions, uh, well, that varies with age groups, some, but some of them might include things like, uh, tell me about something that you've studied recently. Uh, what is it about Malvern College that makes you excited? Uh, what are you most proud of? Uh, if you could be the head teacher of the school for a day, what rules would you change and, and why? Uh, and if you were given the afternoon off from school, how would you spend your time? Uh, this past year has been a strange and challenging one for many people. How have you found uh, unexpected positives from the lockdown or from the pandemic? In terms of the school's academic profile, uh, it's fair to say, I think, that we are an academic school, but, but we're keen to point out that we're not a hothouse. We're always ranked as one of the top five IB schools in the UK uh, and run these alongside A-level with approximately a 50-50 split between the sixth form pupils uh, and as much success in both. Uh, every year we have a number of pupils heading off to elite universities in the UK in the U and in the US, including Oxbridge, and the Ivy League, as well as into some of the top universities in Europe. At GCSE, two thirds of our GCSEs approximately are graded nine to seven. That's, that's A star to A uh, in old money. So we have two thirds of our pupils getting the, the sorts of grades that you will need to be getting into the top universities, um, uh, both in the UK and abroad as well. But as I say, we're, we're not an ac ac academic hothouse. It's not all about those qualifications are really important but it's also about all those wider skills, uh, both emotional and cultural intelligence, as well as wider uh, transferable skills that make our pupils so successful. The vast majority of leavers go off to university with just a few choosing to go straight into their career, uh, although degree apprenticeships are also gaining some traction too. Uh, each year we have a sizable group going off to the world's elite universities, uh, to Oxford, Cambridge, uh, the Ivy League in, in America or into Europe. Uh, and this year we have 90 offers from universities within the UK's top 10 list. In terms of where they go after that, well, it, it seemingly it's everywhere. I've met groups of Mulvernians around the world uh, and in all sorts of different jobs, careers, work, 
Uh, and without fail, the old Mulvernians that I have met have been people who are comfortable in their own skin, confident in their own abilities, uh, and they have the social skills to, to get on with, to work with, uh, and to lead others. Uh, and they've got a clear sense of, of purpose, of, of worth and fulfilment, uh, and it really does feel that they are determined to make a positive influence on the world that they've gone out into. In terms of advice for families contemplating a boarding school education, well, I, I'm, I'm really positive about that. Uh, there might be some trepidation uh, in trusting your child to a stranger's care, but our, our house parents, our house masters and mistresses, uh, they're professionals at bringing up teenagers. This might be your, your first, it might be your second, uh, and they, they brought up hundreds. They, they've worked through so many of those issues and problems and questions, uh, and they're keen to work through those things with you, uh, to work with the parents, to help our pupils really make a success of their time here. They, they, they do it because they see the value in spending time in developing the, the knowledge and, and that, the, the whole individual in terms of that education purpose. Uh, and that it's, it's why it's worth looking at boarding schools. I met a parent last week who described to me, who said, explained to me, you, you've transformed my son. Uh, and it's, he's doing well academically, yes, but it's across all those other areas that he's excelling, intellectually, culturally, uh, in sports, but in the way that he works with and treats others too. Day schools uh, can be great, uh, but boarding schools can offer so much more. Even if you're just a day pupil in a boarding school, it's worth considering and getting the benefits from it too. Uh, and the best thing for me uh, is that when uh, teenagers come home uh, from school or for leave out or for half term, uh, he or she is really happy to see you, his parents, to spend time at home uh, and with you. And that, that's not always the case with some teenagers. Uh, they, uh, that's a lovely sense to, to see the, the, the pupils going home, to, to, to be happy uh, with their families.